welcome to the Shelly Studio and today is another watercolor technique. This one I'm calling Edges and what I'm doing right now is I am cre creating a crease in the paper using the back of a butter knife. Um, the smooth side where there's no serrated edges because I don't want to actually scratch the paper. And I'm zooming in here so you can see. the. I've never tried this before but I saw this technique um, on YouTube, of course, and what they do is they just paint up to the line and that line is supposed to stop it and give you extra straight lines. Um, I don't think it worked very well. I don't know if I didn't make my creases deep enough. Um, I know I couldn't see the lines and you'll see here um, I paint right over two of them doing this one. And as I add more pigment, you can actually see the lines I painted right over. Right there, for instance. Um, <laughs> they were really hard to see. I think I want to try it again, maybe just do a little test paper. Um, and really push hard. I didn't want to push too hard, I didn't want to go through the paper. I probably didn't need to worry about doing that. But um, I had actually started another one using this technique and I wasn't liking the picture so I figured I would just do a small um, sample piece and it's just this is just basically like a scribble picture you draw some lines which I did with the knife and then you just fill in the spaces with color so that's what I'm doing here and I don't know if it didn't work because I had too much water or not enough water but it just seems like it wasn't working for me. And my hand is so unsteady, I can't do a straight line if I tried. <laughs> and I am still using the Pring um, you know, school grade cheap watercolors for this sample. And see, there I went over yet another line, which I really can't see them. If I get at the right angle and the light hits it, hits it just right, then I can see them. And of course, I'm not patient enough to let it dry. I tried working in other places, but I just wanted to keep going. And I made the mistake of taping this to my table rather than taping it to a board or something I can rotate. So you saw me there putting it in my other hand to paint that side just to get a little bit better angle on the line I was working on. trying to decide what to do. If one of you guys try this technique and want to show me your results that would be awesome because I'd like to see someone do this and have success now I'm trying the round brush I thought I don't know maybe it would work or maybe you could actually tell whether or not it was working because the flat brush gives gives pretty good straight lines anyways the round brush um, does not as you can see
And that purple pigment is so dark. Oops, yeah. So I didn't really care for this one either. Um, like I said, I'd started another one. I will add that video of the one I didn't like because I do go back to it after doing this. And I just, you know, I add to it. And I like it much better now. So I'll upload that one too. I decided to blot it with a paper towel and of course it got color in other places. And then I decided I liked that so I dabbed into the palette and just added those marks all over the watercolor. And I really didn't, you know, I wasn't really liking it anyway and it was just a sample so I decided to turn this into a mixed media piece. Who says you can't just change your watercolor into a mixed media piece? So I'm going to take it here and we're going to trim this edge off. My blade's kind of dull on this paper trimmer. There we go. So we're just going to draw a flower and we're going to add that to our watercolor background. And I'm just making a daisy type flower. Just something real simple. Now when you add stuff like this to your watercolor, um, you do need to call it a mixed media. Um, if you're entering it in anything or you know listing it somewhere, it does need to be considered mixed media instead of watercolor. that down with some glue stick. If I got enough glue on there to stick. And of course I've got to pull out the pens because that just doesn't pop enough so we're gonna bring out a pen and this is a food ball pen. It works really great on paint media as long as it's dry. The paint media, that is. Um, any of your pens, if you work on wet paint media, then you will ruin your pens. So it's best to be patient or pull out the blow dryer and get it dry before drawing on them. It will save you pens. Once that's done, I've got my pen out. I can't leave um, well enough alone. We're going to add something to the border. Just add curlicues. I decide a quote will be good. You go from something ugly to something kind of pretty. And so I decided to talk about the difference between weeds and flowers. 
So I put, what's the difference between a flower and a weed? And then I put, where it's planted? My answer is maybe. Because I think this weed turned into a cute little flower. And I hope you liked that. Um, it was kind of fun to do. And if you did like that, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe.